Hello and welcome. Join me as we're going to go through all of my Winter Village collection that is currently in storage boxes to my left hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out of the box, pass it across the camera and then just put it to my right hand side. This will then allow me to build and rebuild anything that's broken for me then to do unboxing videos all the way through November and December of everything that is in my collection. So I don't know how badly damaged this is. I've literally just pulled it out to the one side. I always put it back in the shipping boxes and everything like that um, at the end of every Christmas, obviously. But now we're going to be making a permanent winter village display and we really want to make sure that everything is perfect and we've got all the minifigures in there now as we go through obviously let us know in the comments below if you're going to backtrack any of these sets or if you've got any of these sets i am in another temporary setup again so the lights are in a slightly different position i don't know how well this is going to work until i obviously watch this back so fingers crossed you can see everything coming past the camera and there's a big storm on the way as well so hopefully the wind noise is not too bad so what we'll do is i'll take the lids off the boxes and then we'll get tucked in Right, so we might as well start with the one that is in my hand. So that is the giveaway purchase from the other year, set number 40565. Now there is an unboxing video available for this already. This was the first one that's done. So that is already built. Now this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice little size. It comes from really nice minifigures. You've got Santa and you have got the elf as well. Now I will do what I can with regards to just passing these across. Next thing that we're grabbing is the two in one, 40573, huge Christmas tree. Now you can build this into two completely different sets and this thing really is massive I actually use this in my sort of village square right in the middle where we put all of the buildings and everything around the outside hopefully that'll behave itself now the next one is it's a sort of baby brother or sister it's 40338 there's obviously nothing in this but it's ready for the unboxing video now this is pretty cool because the bottom of the tree spins round so you've got all the trains and everything that go across the bottom and they've got a lot of Christmas presents involved in that as well now am I going to be able to grab one of these sets almost we're almost there next one to come out i love this and i'm looking forward to adding this to the new one that's going to be coming out for this year because this has the snowmobile version of this so i actually have both parts of this when it came out now this is limited edition from 2013 that's how far back we're going now you add two of these together so you add 40083 and 40082 together and then you create well this so you have got this lovely little thing at the front and then that is the back of the box now what you have is with this you have the gates where you put the christmas trees in and then you have the car to match now i have got this box it's either just behind the camera so i'm gonna have to grab it at the very very end or it's i put it back and was clever enough because i did just use this box to compare it to the unboxing video which what i said in that is i like that the fact it had the years on on this so this obviously says limited edition 2013 whereas the new giveaway it doesn't have anything on at all so it makes it a little bit more difficult to back track right now like i said i have got boxes in boxes so there is a box of just stuff so i've got to be very very careful when i get it out that's the first box and then we have a huge one just to the side so we have here is the fire engine which is obviously from the fire brigade set that is a cute looking thing obviously it comes with all the really nice minifigures that is set number 10263 so if you need to backtrack any of these or you need them for pieces then obviously do let me know now next thing to come out of the magic box not damaged which is good i did rebuild this there's a little bit of damage at the top you can see it the light brick still works so I know it's a little bit bright, but you can see that that still works nicely. So hopefully nobody's gone blind, which works really, really well. So I've got to figure out where that actually goes. I think that's supposed to sit just in there. I think that sits over the top as a bell house, I think. And then you push down on the brick. So we'll figure, we'll figure that out. So that's why I got the instruction manual, because not really actually thinking that should be there but at least everything on the back works absolutely fine and this is a beautiful set and you can see it's got the little snowman a couple of cobwebs but apart from that we were lucky with that one now i know i'm going to run out of space very very quickly so i will do what i can with regards to putting the pieces oh i keep stopping the camera and just clearing some space because obviously i don't want to end up dropping anything whatsoever now the next thing you might notice on my right hand side we have got the elements of the train so that is one of the back carriages which is all built and nice i do really really like this it's got the lego smoke coming out of the top and then you've got all the bits and pieces with the coal and where the minifigures go in so i'm looking forward to showing this off there is the nice track that goes underneath it and i do have the station that goes with it as well which is really really nice and if i remember rightly the tree when you're moving on the track the tree will spin as well which is a nice a really nice touch so i'll put that safely to my right hand side 
and then we will move on to the next set. Right, next set, where are we looking at? I think we are going to be able, if I'm very, very careful, to grab the Elf House. Now, some of these sets, that's not too bad. We haven't got too much damage on there. So, this is pretty cool because this does move. So, you've got the really, really nice chimney on the back of this. Obviously, there's a little bit of damage on the front, but that's easy repairable. That's just the lights. Now, the light brick on this is, I can't even remember where some of these are. But this, uh, where is that, actually? There is a light brick on all of them. I think it's up at the top. It's just one of those things that are very, very well hidden. But on the inside, there's no damage whatsoever. Now, the nice thing is with this is that where it says North Pole and the workshop on the front of this set, I actually do have the workshop to go with it. That I backtracked that one and did pick that up. So like I said, I really do like this theme. And when you start putting them all together, I think they do look really, really nice. And I keep saying it, there will be an unboxing video coming of each individual one of these together. Um, like I said, we've got quite a bit to get through. So next one. Do believe this is just part of um, a little set that was exclusive to the entertainer. So you had a couple of minifigures, you had a letterbox or a postbox, sorry, and you just had a couple of little kids um, pulling the um, Santa's wish list, and then that's that's what that was for. So that was used with a couple of the other little bits and pieces. So in here, for example, we have got other other trees and things. Now there is a light brick here which might be actually from, oh, it's from this tree, isn't it? So this light brick goes in this tree, you push it down and it all lights up. I've got too many lights on behind me, which you can't see it, but trust me, it does look very, very effective. That is from, good question. That, I'm not 100% sure what tree that is from. That maybe that is from the fire station. Maybe it's the fire station Christmas tree. No, it's not. That is from the cottage, the blue cottage, I think. And that's the tree that goes out the front because I have a light brick hidden everywhere but like i said i think that's what that one is from but i will be doing all the research as it comes and goes right another little thing this is a cool little thing again this was another like exclusive to some of the toy shops so you could buy you could i think get these on the lego website when they came out but this is just like a little toboggan and ice skating rink so it's a tiny little thing too many figures you've got things that go down on that bit just in there and they come with just nice little elements where they can just sit down and you can just make a really nice display and these things just bulk up the um the display nicely i think that's why i might pick up some of the advent calendars this year um i've not yet picked them up but i think i might get the marvel one and i might get the lego city because the lego city comes with a huge amount of minifigures and just some nice like, elements like that where you can then just build it all up around the collection now another one that i backtracked from 2019 is the baby version of a gingerbread house now this thing i think looks very very nice and very very effective really nice little build it lo does look very very smart that one so again there'll be bits and pieces coming for that now part of the train you have got obviously the little bit that it sits on you've got the little conductor and then i think that went on there like so yep so that was all together and then you've got just the really nice effective thing so it does look nice they all work very very well like i said individually they work together they i think they work very very well now we're still going on the smaller box so i have no idea how long this video is going to be so i do apologize in advance now it is really belting with wind now so i'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to suddenly start raining very very heavy so it will get noisy and i'm sorry uh, there's nothing i can do about that i can't change the volume on it or anything like that now that's what i meant with the little letter box that's the little letter box that came with that piece so that's the bit that comes with the little tree so that's a nice little nice little touch we've got a little bit of track right i think oh we have the track nearly ripped that off the track is attached where it was um to this now if i can put that back on he says what have i done with that oh you know what i'm doing so that there is fine so that is the amazing winter village i really really do like the looks of that so obviously the track goes across the front i've just pushed the roof off which is nice and simple so it's only two pieces actually I just did that like so and then flop that back over on itself done there you go so that is the top of that that's as simple as that i think that does look really really nice now obviously the train fits perfectly with this and it's got all the really really nice little bits and pieces you've got the ticket for the actual train track you've got all these really nice minifigures and it does say winter village due to the north pole back from bricksburg and then Snow Valley to Tile Town. So it's got some just really nice details on that. But like I said, we'll go through all of this in much, much greater detail. Right, that is, um, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. So what is this? Right, this is the little uh, workshop. 
So this was again, I think either it was either a giveaway or it was just some little set that I ended up hunting down. So it's like a little workshop and I only picked it up because it had the workshop on the um, sign and it just works well because what you do is you use all of the Christmas decorations and all the bits and pieces that comes with the advent calendars. I just put it around these where they're working as a um, workshop and then end up putting it around the Christmas trees because in the back of the train, you can then fill it up with all the Christmas presents, which I think is a really, a really, really nice touch. That is the track that was supposed to go with that. It just literally sits in front of it. So nothing too fancy about that. Minifigure wise, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight minifigures in here and three or four little trees. So the little trees, I might try and order some more of before, um, before they all run out because these are the ones that will work really, really well in that first box that I showed you with the black gates. So what I do is I actually put a, um, a proper style tree place where you go and chop your own Christmas trees down which is always which is always really really nice so I have all of the different sizes then the pickup truck that sits in the back of that one whereas the new one has a snowmobile so it means I can either use a snowmobile as a surface for this like it, it's just a different thing and they could be delivering a really nice Christmas tree to the new um the new lodge which would be really really nice right so that is all there all the pieces are in there there's three pieces from one of those sets and I think that is from the fire station. So not too bad. So that, if you're still with me, that was the short box. That was the easy bit. Now, now we've got the fruity bit. Now what I mean by that is that this is far too heavy and it's far too big and it is absolutely ooh, rammed of stuff. So there's all sorts of different bits and pieces in here. There's a lot more Winter Village sets and then you've got all the accessories in there. Now. Obviously, the instruction manual is below it, so I need to get all of this out to be able to actually repair anything that is damaged because I just place them in there and don't touch it for the whole year. So fingers crossed, it'll be absolutely fine, but more than likely it's smashed because we have done so much DIY stuff up where these were. I've carried these down from the Lego room, hence why we are in here, but the lid is off. So first thing, that's easy enough. We have just got the little ice skating rink with the dog. So that is from the fire station. That's all together. And you can, again, you can make a nice, a nice display. He says it's all together. That is the nice little statue that goes with it with the translucent uh, fire piece. So that's a really nice, really nice looking thing. And he has a gold shiny helmet on as well. We have got the Christmas present. That is a Christmas present box. That's a cool looking thing. It has the bits and pieces on the back. The box basically opens up as a nice diorama. So that is as simple as that. I'll put that with my box pile because like I said, normally I try and put all the bits and pieces in the box where I can. If I'm stupid, then like I was, I won't. Now this is part of the sleigh from um, last year's set, which I loved. I actually got two of these um, because I thought I could use them one on the ground and I wanted one going across the top. Now we're doing this as a theme park. That might work really, really well. That just needs a little bit of persuasion and that'll fit back in. I've done something wrong on that. But that's full of Christmas presents and then you have a Santa's nice list that's attached to it. Obviously, you then got all the reindeer and you got Santa himself that comes with that. I think I made a little reindeer um, place, like a little petting thing last time. So they are, aren't attached to it, but I do have another one then brand new in the box somewhere. And that will be possibly still where I got these from and last year's... Um, Winter Village set is currently being built. So that is here, but it's not gonna be shown in this video unless I need to go off and get another box and I'll just show off at the end. But I think a lot of you know what that is. Now, this thing is a cool looking thing. Any idea what this is from? Because it is a book on the side. Little hint, it comes with Scrooge and it comes with the other character or characters as well. They have just literally fallen straight through to the bottom of the box but i have the minifigures stood on these two because that's where you stand the two minifigures and then you have the nice little bits so you can mix and match this up because you could if you wanted to use the muppet scrooge if you wanted to but i think this is a really really nice thing and then i do think it has a drawer on the front yes it does so it's got the drawer up in the front there so you can put some spare pieces in there if you wanted to i think it's a beautiful looking thing so sometimes you can buy or get this was a giveaway so this was a free giveaway purchase um with one of the other Winter Village sets. So I was very, very happy to receive that as a, a free gift. And I think then I bought another one or somebody gave me one, I think, because some people, because don't forget with the giveaways with the Winter Village, it's not exclusive to the winter sets, like some of the Marvel and Disney bits and pieces. So some people will get them, don't want them, 
put them on Facebook Marketplace really, really cheap. So you've got to keep your eyes peeled for them. Right, the bus. The bus comes with the um, station. That's a really nice looking thing. So that is JH0049. Um, yeah, bus 318. And it's got the presents up at the top. Again, nice. Nice little thing to make some nice detail with that. Now, the spinny Christmas tree. So this is the one that spins. You can see there, nice and easy. He says, if I push it down, that does need a little bit of repair. But that is broken in a couple of different places, but that will look better for the unboxing. So that's why we're doing this, just so you can see how much work's involved. Um, right, the beast, I think that is next. Because I've got to take them out when they're on top of each other. Now, this thing is massive. This thing was... All right to put together. I can see one candle has fallen. I think, I think, no, two candles have fallen. That goes there. That is that. So you can't see it yet, but it's huge. Absolutely massive. So that is the big box that I showed off. This is where, what I tend to do actually with the big one like this, is I will get the fire engine um, ladder and then we'll start trying to put the stars on the top of the trees so we can get some nice nice little bits and pieces with that. So we have got a lot of Christmas trees dotted around the outside and that's why I'm quite thankful that the new set comes with a Christmas tree on the inside. So it's something a little bit, a little bit different. Um, right, I have done something that I've forgotten about. I have built both sets. So I've done it, I must have done it last year when I got carried away. Um, so yeah, both sleds, or sleds should I say, are out. Uh, maybe, oh no, what I did is I put a spare one behind Santa's workshop. That's what I did. So there was one in use giving out all the Christmas presents and then we had one being built. Why I did that, I don't know. But at least it's built, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, loads of track. Now this giveaway, obviously looks, this is absolutely battered. Um, this is a pretty cool thing though, because if you spin this at the front, the minifigures will move. So you can obviously have another minifigure just on there like so, and then they go round and round and round together. This was out for ages, and I think this was, this got given to a load of people um, instead of a car, I think, for one of the modules in January, it was actually run out. So they just backtracked and gave this as a giveaway purchase instead. So there's loads and loads of these. So um, these are still easily available, I think. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. But again, it's another, it's another giveaway purchase. Right, still going, we're still going, still going. Right, oh, I didn't want to open it up like that. So this is the present. So the present with this, literally lid pops off, spins it round, opens it up. It will have both of the minifigures in there. And then it's got some really nice bits and pieces. Uh, but I've got to be careful because the bits in there are loose and then you can sort of decorate it however however it is you want to decorate it so that's again a really nice touch what have we got coming next so we have got a, another tree so it's a smaller christmas tree what set that comes with there's so many of them i don't know but that is a chunky girthy one it's got a nice little base on the back on that one there is one two three four five six christmas trees at the moment and um, we'll have a look they look already to my right hand side just throwing them on that shelf they look quite effective so i think you'll understand when you see them, uh, another baby tree. Again, this is another one from, um, I want to say it's from another smaller set, but that isn't, I don't think. I think we got given a really random tree with something. This is from, uh, oh goodness, it's a Christmas present with, and it came with some of the little mini figures. I think again, you couldn't get, you could get it from the entertainer. Uh, I think that's where it comes from. So you've got to check some of the different websites as well, because sometimes they do do, like store, not so much store exclusive, because obviously you can all get them from the Lego website, but you don't get them from all toy places. And then nice little park bench. This is lovely. So this, you obviously you sit down, and I do believe somewhere, there it is. There it is. I was clever enough. Now on the inside of here, because it always gets damaged, is a lot of carol singers. And you just, I always just have to repair the roof, put all four sides back on. And it's got a really nice seating area, and I tend to put this seating area beside it. And then, yeah, you've got a lot of people playing musical instruments. And with the one that I'm just about to build, um, you can buy the musical instruments from it. So I can actually add more of those into the display. And then there's tons of these kind of things where they just little Christmas presents. So you can see what they'll be like dotted around everywhere. So let's plonk that bag up here, put that there, and we will move on. Now we're coming to some old ones now. Old, old, old ones. So we've got the post office. Now this I love. I love the design of this one with regards to how you have it on the roof and the light brick. Ah, oh, it's failed. 
the light brick no longer works, but you can still buy the light brick, so that's absolutely fine. But it's even got the little ice on the side of the window, which is a, a really nice touch. Now on the back, loads of detail, and it's got the price of the stamps, which has just got like different minifigures on. I think all I've got to do on this one is might have just repaired that part of the roof, and then it looks like we're missing some parts of the lamppost and things. Um, because obviously this was halfway down, so some of them have got a little bit battered. But I will be more than happy to put these back together neat and tidy. Right, um, old uh, bakery. So that is part of the bakery. Obviously, it's not a bakery, it's a horse and cart. But this is part of the bakery, I do believe. So they did go like really old school originally, which I really liked. And then they went a little bit more modern. And then they got a little bit more random. So they do keep changing the bits and pieces. But if they can go back to sort of the older bits and pieces where they have that kind of style where it just looks very, very Christmassy like it would do for like an old Christmas film. I would really like that because I have all of the older bits and bobs. Now the toy shop, let me get to that. So that's just part of something. Now the toy shop is an interesting one because I do believe it is the only set still to this day, and that's a, a really nice roof of something as I'm trying to grab it, is the, only, is the only set to this day where it came out twice. So it was the same set with two different ID numbers over a couple of different years. Um, and they just changed the design of the roof, but it looked the same, but it's how it got built, and then people went mad, because I think people really liked it, so they thought they'll do the right thing and re-release it, because it was so expensive in the second-hand market. It annoyed a load of people, because they want to do what I'm doing and create a massive display, and they did so they didn't buy it twice, and then the people that bought it to keep to then sell on lost all the value. Cat, bloke, pile of snow, watch as well go by. I love that. I just think that's really, really nice. Um, I put that, always sort of put that close to where the music bits are or or something like that. Still trying to get to this toy shop that I've been talking about. You know, you can hear the piece. Oh dear. Oh dear. You can hear the pieces falling off, but not off the toy shop. That might have been. Um, there we go. The old school toy shop. Light works. Yes, the light still works. It's got a really nice little flicker on that one. So on the inside of this, obviously it's packed full of toys. And I really do like this one because it's got the nice little toy shop sign and it's just very, very effective. It's got nice bits and pieces in the window. I think it just looks nice. I think it's just one of those that works very, very well. Right, moving on. So this one, hopefully you recognise what this is from. This is from the set that is still currently available, which is the Blue Little Santa's Visit House. So that goes out the front. So you actually have like a nice little frontage to that one, which... I think it does look very, very sweet indeed. Um, right, we've got part of a Harry Potter calendar here and some train track with a big sort of turkey. So that is on there where people just, just sit down and bite to eat. Um, handful of minifigures, you've got all the elves and just some sort of conductors and things like that of people just walking around. Now, what have I put in here? So I've just put basically people pack. So it's all got all sorts of reindeers, more Christmas trees, loads and loads of people. Um, you've got little ones in pyjamas, you've got stuff from the gingerbread house in there. So I do try and keep it all grouped together so it's all neat, safe and sound. So that's always a nice, a nice little, nice little thing. Now the car, can I get the car? Yes, this is what I love. So this is for the, the opposite set to the gates that we saw right at the start. You put the Christmas tree at the back and then you just drive, drive along. I actually made a proper diorama out of this one year and I really liked it. Um, and that is the end of that story. Right, the reindeers, I think. Oh, there's a little reindeer with a teeny tiny little sleigh. It's got like a turbo sleigh on the back of that one. So that was a, a little bit weird because the reindeer is at least three times the size of that sleigh. So that was a, that was a bit of an odd one. Um, Santa, can we get this out? I have got things stuck now because it's fallen through. Right, this is the set that is currently uh, available. So we are there. So this thing, again, you can see the difference of this now. So this is one of the newer sets and we've been looking at the old school post office and the toys. So I love the variety. Um, I like this as well, because it's got loads of space on the inside, massive dinner tables and everything like that. Um, the only thing with some of these, if you do if you breathe on them, they fall apart. So that's been in that box a whole year on display for a month. And I have literally breathed on it and it's, there we go, and it's back together. So you just, just gotta be careful with, with some of them, but, um, yeah, that is currently available and I do highly recommend it. And you can get stuff down the chimney and do some nice little sort of, again, nice diorama pieces with that. Um, right, there's Scrooge. 
really nice minifigure, glad a fan picked him out. I've got Harry Potter in here. Uh, right bit of damage on this one, because it's actually caught. Well, we've had a crash with Santa's sleigh, so... That's the front of it, that's where the reindeer went for that one. And this is supposed to be together. You can see the nice little translucent pieces for that. Uh, will that just... A little persuasion, will that go around? Have I got that off the flag? Yeah. Spin that round. Right, that is now repaired. This is a old school ice skating ring. So you can see it's got the studs and everything on there. And you can see the minifigure that has fallen in. And it's just got its legs on the back. So again, that's a cool, a cool little thing on that one, I think. We have got two more modulars to get through. There's a lot of minifigures in here which I won't bore you with because I'll save that for all of the unboxing videos. But you've got the old vintage post office wagon. That I think looks very, very nice. So that's a beautiful looking thing. That's 1022 for the license plate. So I think the license plate do represent the set number. Coming into the gingerbread house. There we go. Pretty much still intact. Candy Lane. There we go. Beautiful. Again, uh, first time I ever remember rightly, it's got all the, trans uh, the, the sort of translucent tiles on the side with the glitter. So it's full of glitter all over. Now, from with the lights behind me looking into the back, it's the first time I've seen it so colourful. So it's a beautiful, beautiful looking thing. You can see the minifigures there on the front. You've got the nice little sort of candy bits at the top. You push down and the fire will light up. So that's a really nice thing. But this one has been discontinued. I think this one got discontinued last year. So if you want to try and backtrack that one before it gets too expensive, um, good luck. But I think already it might be massively, massively overpriced. That's the thing with this line, because everybody wants to get backtrack all of them, because it's something they only do one a year of. It is something that does go up in value very, very quickly. Now, uh, bakery. Last modular, the bakery. Um, again, get this new in the box now. It's a horrific amount of money. And it's just an old, small looking set. Bright, brick like still works. You can see it's got some bread in the front and it's got some cakes and things like that and it's obviously got the light and everything so again I think it does look very very effective indeed. Now with regards to what is left inside this box it is just accessories and stuff. Now for me to go through that is probably going to take the same amount of time again just to sort out and do but I think you get an understanding of what is to come. Um, with regards to this new Winter Village series that I'm going to be putting together. I do want to try and backtrack some of them. So I don't know whether to do like a live shopping video or something like that. I have found uh, one of the sets that I'm missing, which I've wanted for a good while. And I did eyeball another one, which was the um, cottage. And that is far too expensive, which is such a shame because that comes with a really nice log cabin. But this is full, like I said, full of minifigures, full of just little bits and pieces, which I need to go through. I need to go through all of this as well. But before I do go, I will just show, do a quick pan round of what is there. So I've just thrown these all on together and you can see just how nice they look without even trying, really. It's all the matching colours and everything like that. They do work well. I know it's struggling for light because it is dark in certain places. And then this is what these look like coming through. And then again, you've got some more underneath. But guys, I think that is it. I am done. So if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Comments below what you've got, what you want to backtrack. Are you looking forward to this Winter Village series? Because I am looking forward to getting all of these out on display permanently, which I think would be a really, really nice thing. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You not take care of this next one. Ta-da.